lecture series on automation in manufacturing. I am Neha Dushi, Assistant Professor in Mechanical Engineering Department at LG Institute of Engineering and Technology. In today's session, we will cover different topics like what is hydraulic circuit and automation continuous operation of DAs, which is direct, uh, double acting cylinder, then speed control circuit. Now, first of all, what is hydraulic circuit? A hydraulic circuit is a group of components including work or board form, actuators, valves, piping and uh, auxiliary equipment. It is used for power transmission and control. Now hydraulic circuit transmit and control power from a mechanical input to a mechanical output by means of liquid generally it is a oil. Power is transmitted hydrostatically where high pressure makes static force prominent over a dynamic forces and energy is transmitted mostly through static pressure at low flow velocities. Hydraulic system is a pump to push hydraulic fluid through the system to create a fluid power. The fluid passes through the valves and flow to the cylinder where the hydraulic energy convert back into the mechanical energy. The valves help direct flow of the liquid and relieve pressure when needed. Now, we will discuss about the automatic continuous operation of double acting cylinder, which is generally known as a DAC. We can use either of the following two types of circuit for obtaining continuous reciprocation of crystal of double acting cylinder. First one is by using limit switches and double solenoid 4x2 DCV, direct control valve. Then by using limit valves and double pillow 4 by 2 DCV direct control valve and by adjusting the piston of limit switches or limit valve. We can also adjust the length and position of two stroke of the cylinder. Hence this circuit are also known as a stroke control circuit. Now we will discuss about the hydraulic circuit by using limit switch and uh, double solenoid valve 4, double, 4 by 2 direct control valve. Now what is 4 by 2 DC? It means 4 way 2 position direct control, direction control valve. Okay, 4 by 2 DC means 4 way 2 position direction control valve. 4 by 2 valve has a 4 connection to it and 2 valves position. Normally one port is open to slow from the pump. In this diagram you can see uh, C means cap end and R means road end and LS1 and LS2 are two limit switches. In this circuit, a 4 by 2 double solenoid valve VCD is used. There are two limit switches to operate this 4 by 2 VCD. When a limit switch is pressed, electric current flow to the connected solenoid valve has the spool of 4 by 2 VCD shift to the another position. The pull piston load by reciprocating actuates the limit switches which inter-actuate 4 by 2 DC. Thus, automatic reciprocation of rain is achieved. In the first position of 4 by 2 direct control valve, oil under pressure flow from P to A and P to T as the cylinder is extended. Extension of the cylinder is there. By the end of extension, the cam fitted to the piston roof presses the limit switch LS2 as the electric current flow uh, from the solenoid S2 and into this, the spool of 4 by 2 DC is shifted to the second position. Now, what happened in second position? In second position, 4 by 2 direct control valve, oil under pressure flow from P to B and A to T. As the cylinder retracts, by the end of retraction, the cam press the limit switch at S1. As the electric current flow to the solenoid uh, S1 and due to this, the spool of 4 by 2 direct control valve shift to the first position and the cycle is continued. Okay. Now, we will discuss about the hydraulic circuit by using limit valves and double pillow 4 by 2 DC, 4 by 2 direct control valve. Now, in this circuit, 4 by 2 double pillow DC is used. There are two cam operated uh, DCD which are called limit valves to operate this 4 by 2 DCD. When a limit valve is pressed, oil under pressure flow to the connected pillow and hence the spool of 4 by 2 DCD sink to the another position. 
distal node by reciprocating actuate this limit valve, which in turn actuate 4 by 2 direct control valve. In the first position of 4 by 2 direct control valve, oil under pressure flow from E to A and B to B. Hence, the cylinder is extended. By the end of extension, the cam pitted distal node traces to the limit valve LV1. Here to limit valve LV1 and LV2. Okay, so by the end of extension, the cam fitted to the piston road traces the limit valve LV1. Hence, oil under pressure flow to the pilot P1 uh, and due to this, the spool of 4 by 2 PCB sink to the second position. In the second position, what happened? Second, in the second position, 4 by 2 PCB, oil under pressure flow from P to B and A to B. Hence, the cylinder retracts. By the end of retraction, the cam presses the limit valve LV2. And hence, oil under the pressure flow from P2. And due to this pull of the, the direct control valve shift to the this, uh, first position. And the, uh, the cycle is continued. Okay. Now, we will discuss about the speed control circuit. What is speed control circuit? Speed of hydraulic and pneumatic actuators can be controlled using the flow control valves. Within the rate of flow of fluid in the circuit will vary the time taken to fill the cylinder and thus vary the time of completion of the stroke. Generally there are three circuits which are used in the speed control. First one is metering circuit. Now in metering circuit which is also known as throttling circuit, the rate of flow of fluid is controlled at the entrance of the actuator. Now in the second one is meter out circuit. In meter out circuit, the control, the rate of flow is controlled at the exit. And next one is bleed off control. The bleed off control, the rate of flow of fluid is controlled in bypass line, which is leading towards oil reservoir. A bleed off control is not preferred for pneumat uh, pneumatic system because compressed air is uh, not being wasted like in releasing simply to the atmosphere. Now we will discuss about the metering circuit or throttling circuit. In metering circuit, the rate of flow of oil going into the cylinder is controlled by the flow control valve. FC flow control valve is placed at inlet of the cylinder. Now, cap and port C is inlet for the extension and road and port R is the inlet for the retraction. In the first position of direct control valve, oil under pressure flow from P to A and P to T. This flow is through flow control valve. The flow is controlled and the piston extends slowly. Now, in second position uh, of the direct control valve, oil under pressure flow from T to B and A to T. A to T. This flow is through the check valve. This free flow as the piston retracts at higher speed, which is not controlled. Similarly, retraction is done. Okay. Metering control is used for opposing load only. It can prevent running away loads because the return line from the cylinder is free path toward the reservoir. Running away load will pull the piston and piston can resist that. Now we will discuss about the meter out circuit for throttling out which is for extension of direct acting cylinder. Now in meter out circuit, the rate of flow of oil under pressure coming out of the cylinder is controlled by the flow control valve. Now flow control valve is placed at the outlet of the cylinder as you can see here. The road end port is outlet for the extension and cap end port is outlet for the retraction. Now in force position of direct control valve, oil under pressure flow from P to A and B to T. This flow is through the flow control valve. The flow is controlled and then system extends stored slowly. Now in second position that, uh, of the direct control valve, oil under pressure flow from P to B and A to T. This flow is through the check valve. Okay? When there is a check valve, the free flow is free. Has a piston retracts at higher speed, which is not generally controlled. Okay? Same here, uh, same uh, will uh, happen during the metering out circuit for the exchange, the retraction. Okay? Meter out control can be used for both opposing load as well as the running away load. It can help running away load because there is an FCD at outlet of the cylinder, which maintains high pressure oil under pressure at the cylinder outlet. Now we will discuss about the bleed off circuit for extension. Okay. Now in bleed off circuit, control circuit, the bypass line is connected to the inlet cylinder. Cap and 
Port C is inlet for the extension and floor and port R is an inlet for retention. A flow control valve is placed in this bypass line. This FCD bypass control amount of oil to flow back to the reservoir. Only the remaining amount of flow will flow to the cylinder. So by controlling the bypass flow rate, we control the flow rate going into the cylinder. Now bleed off control is used for opposing loads only. It can't prevent running the loose. This is because the return line is a free path towards the reservoir. Running away load will pull the piston and piston can't resist it. Okay. So the advantages of bleed-off circuit is that it allows certain quantity of oil to flow back to the reservoir through the flow control path during the idle period. It prevents the flow of oil to flow through pressure relief pipe, thereby, thereby it reduces the loss of power and overheating of oil during the idle period. Now, in first position of narrow control valve in bleed off control, oil and air pressure flow from P to A and B to T. But this flow controlled by flow because control amount of oil is released back to the tank through FCD. Only the remaining amount of oil is flowing into the cylinder. Piston extends to in second position of direct control valve, oil and air pressure flow from P to B and A to T. This flow is free uh, flow. <coughs> there is a no FCD in this line and the piston retracts at high speed which is not hard. Okay. So, so this is what about the different kinds of hydraulic circuit which is used in automation. Okay. Thank you for watching this video.